All right, so on this video, I'm gonna be discussing all of the brand new heroes that just came out into beta yesterday from War of Three Kingdoms. This is set to go live next week in what's called the global launch. I don't know if any of these heroes are gonna be live next week. I wouldn't put it beyond SG to release them, uh, but we will be able to be doing beta tests. Now, if you're wondering what is War of Three Kingdoms, Essentially what's gonna happen is there's going to be teams of 100 players that are gonna be able to battle it out and attack each other. Um, you can, what's really cool, so it's like you you get thrown into a random new alliance with 100 people, you have your own communication channels, it allows you to actually meet uh, a whole bunch of the community. Uh, I'm assuming they're gonna do some really cool things with it uh, by having like different war rules or different stipulations. So these are these attacks are going to be ran just the same as what we see in war to where you can only use one hero once. Um, I haven't seen any war rules, but if I was to wager or bet that they will probably have specific um sets of star heroes that you can use within these wars coming up um if they're smart they'll do that which will make people need to start leveling up all their other heroes uh in different rarity sets so don't be surprised if you start seeing four star wars something like that i think that there's a lot of unique rules that haven't came through on this uh, that they are yet to be releasing. But like I said, this is going to be live next week and we're gonna be discussing all of the beta heroes. Now, it's important for you to know that these could all change and be completely different. Now, this is my live beta account. I'm not allowed to show you the actual pictures and I'm not allowed to give you any gameplay, but I am allowed to show what the character does and everything like that. If you see over here to the left, this is the kingdom family. This is the bonus that every kingdom family is going to get. So uh, I haven't seen these. I'm gonna be looking at them live with you. Uh, so starting us off, we have what is called Lee. Wow, that's pretty easy. I know you guys are expecting me to mispronunciate a ton of characters. Three star, it's a paladin, uh, 480, 486, uh, 813 on the health. As far as uh, being slow, 160% damage to all enemies, summons a Wu soldier minion with 8% health and 18% attack, and a Wu soldier minion gives the target the following status ailments, target receives 108 burn damage over three turns. So uh, this is similar to like Jahangar, I haven't looked at the stats wise, but very, very similar. Uh, Jahangar plus being able to create a little minion as well too. Uh, kind of an interesting concept that they have there. Uh, next up, we have a Jing. This is a fighter class, another three star here, running at fast speed. Deals 290% damage to the target, summons a shoe soldier minion with 9% HP and 17% attack inherited from the caster. The shoe soldier minion gives its owner the ability to counterattack with 30% of the damage received as long as the owner has a shoe soldier minion. Cannot be dispelled, interesting. So it is applying a boral effect on just the caster. I think it'd be interesting if it uh, did it to actually target nearby uh, allies, but 290% damage is still a substantial amount, especially in three stars. Okay, next up we have a Yao. Uh, average speed, three star, deals 215% damage to target nearby enemies. Summons a Wee Soldier minion with 14% uh, HP, 20% attack inherited from the caster. And each hit from the Wool Soldier minion dispels all dispellable buffs from the target. Interesting. So you can, the little minion will sit there and dispel. That's kind of interesting. I like that. That's a really cool, I, that's a really cool effect because What's um, what's interesting about this is that the uh, minion itself uh, probably isn't going to take counterattack damage on it um, because of the single hits, uh, potentially. Interesting, all right. Uh, next up, we have our four stars. So this is uh, Zhu Yo. And average speed, Ranger, 638, 670, 1335, nothing too crazy stats-wise. 
Average speed deals 335% damage to the target. Summons a Wu Soldier minion for each ally. 8% uh, HP, 18% attack and hero from the caster. Each hit from the Wu Soldier minion uh, gives the target status ailments uh, 147 damage over three turns. So uh, adds burn damage as well as direct damage. Um, I don't know, this seems a little bit underwhelming, uh, especially being at average speed and only hitting a single target. A um, little bit underwhelming though. Uh, next up, we have uh, Su Sheng Zai. Um, that fast speed uh, fighter class deals 280% damage to the target, minor damage to nearby enemies. The target nearby enemies get minus 54% defense and further 4% decrease every time they hit for three turns. Uh, so this one is definitely insane. Uh, I really like this because considering right now we have, uh, I'm thinking of red, regular defensive downs. Um, Wilbur is kind of like a top choice that people are using a lot. Um, we don't have any that get the further decrease, uh, 4%. So this might be really, really great. Um, I like this character a lot. It's like having Athena, but a red Athena. Uh, definitely going to be used on Titans, especially being at fast speed. Um, yeah, this character is awesome. Not to mention stats wise, an insane attack at 782. A defense is obviously struggling there at 545 and the health total is pretty decent, but still overall an amazing character, definitely gonna be used on Titans. Uh, next up, we have Zayo Dun. Zayo Dun. That's so funny. Now I know why people are like, I can't wait to hear Anchor say the names. Uh, fast damage, 305% uh, damage to the target. Summons a Way Soldier minion for the caster nearby allies, 14%, and 20% attack. All right, so 14% is a decent amount. And each fit hit from a Way Soldier minion dispels all the spell buffs from the target. So same thing as the uh, three star, but this is the four star version in blue so i do like this fighter class uh pretty decent pretty decent character okay and next up we have a wang yangi 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 uh destroys all fiends from all allies boost health of all allies by 625 percent boosted health cannot exceed max hp uh, or can exceed max HP. Yeah, so this character is pretty awesome. I do like this uh, average destroying all fiends, which is definitely helpful. Uh, right now we have like a lot of fiend situations, but just the boosted health of 625 is gonna be pretty great um, with an average four star, uh, especially in yellow. So uh, I do like this character. Uh, next up we have uh, Sun Kwon uh average speed so this is the first five star that we're showing has 340 percent damage to the target nearby enemies summons a Wu soldier minion for each ally at eight percent hp 18 percent attack inherited from the caster each hit from the Wu soldier minion gives the target the following status ailments 180 burden damage over three turns so again we've got we've got this in three star four stars and five stars in the red to where they deal damage to target nearby enemies and then also set up with burn and give a minion so uh, gonna be an interesting character. I don't know how much the damage is gonna be overwhelming. Uh, we do have a lot of insane five stars that are out. Uh, so we'll see, uh, but kind of a really interesting thing to be able to bring, uh, bring on the minions. Next up, uh, Li Bue. Uh, average speed. Deals 340% damage to the target and nearby enemies. Summons a Shoe Soldier minion for each ally with 9% HP and 17% attack inherited from the caster. Shoe Soldier minions give the owner the ability to counterattack with 30% of the damage received for as long as the owner has a Shoe, shoe Soldier minion. All right, so everybody's getting the minion and being able to counterattack with 30%. Um, that's going to be pretty interesting. Um... I don't know if it's gonna be super overwhelming though. I don't know how annoying this will be. Now, getting into the kingdom family, I should probably mention it. So here's become stronger. 
So they have this situation to where um, one, two, three heroes you get 5%, 7%, or 10% mana each time the minion is summoned for the hero. Okay. And then 25, 35, 50 HP healed each time a minion is summoned for the hero. So uh, definitely all about the minions on this for sure. Um, okay. Uh, next one. Uh, Gayon Yu. Gayan Yu. Guan Yu. Uh, average speed. Uh, I will say that this is the longest name I've ever seen for ability. Green Dragon Crescent Blade. Interesting. Deals 390% damage to the target nearby enemies. Damage bypasses targets minions. Okay. So it goes past the minions. And the target nearby enemies get minus 24% defense and further 3% decrease for each minion owned for three turns up to 70% defense. This effect can't be cleansed. Wow. All right. Imagine getting 70% defensive down. So the target nearby enemies for each minion owned by the enemy. So if they have a bunch of minions, uh, they could get a bunch of defensive down. That's really interesting. Uh, um, at average speed, target nearby enemies. Pretty minion specific. Uh, interesting. Right, gosh, we still got a bunch. All right, uh, cow cow. Slow speed deals 270% damage to all enemies. Summons a way soldier ally with 14% HP and 20% attack inherited from the caster. Each hit from a way soldier minion dispels all dispel buffs from the target and deals extra damage against fire. Uh, so this is similar to the other one, um, but just uh, in blue. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know how relevant this one's gonna be, especially it's slow. Zeng, Zahuj Ling, Zahuj Ling. Sounds like a, I don't know. When people are trying to speak Chinese and they're doing it in a way that I don't know. I'm not even gonna get into that. Slow speed. <laughs> Summons a Shu Soldier minion for each ally with 9% HP and 17% attack and inherit from the caster. Shu Soldier minion gives its owner the ability to counterattack with 30% damage received. Cannot be dispelled. And then summons a Su Shu uh, Gorilla Fiend. For all enemies, the fiend damages the enemies with 50% attack every turn. Shu Gorilla Fiend absorbs healing and disappears at 30%. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Creating a minion. Uh, creating a minion for everybody and giving them a fiend for everybody. Um, I feel like this still needs damage attached to it. Uh, Cause definitely a bit underwhelming for sure. Uh, so they'll probably update that. Okay. Uh, Zhang Fi. Uh, fast, I, I like this character. Deals 530% damage to the target. All allies reflect status ailments that affect defense back to the attacker for three turns. So reflecting anything that gives defensive down back to uh, back to the attacker. That's pretty cool. Uh, but not to mention 530% damage. And this guy has 848 attack power being in a fighter. This is an absolutely insane sniper. God, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay. Uh, Lebu and uh this is running at slow speed deals 295 percent damage to all enemies summons a mercenary fiend for all enemies the fiend damages the enemy with 48 percent attack every turn 
Mercenary Fiend absorbs healing and disappears when it is absorbed at max health equal to 32% of the max health. Mercenary Fiend's target is immune to new buffs as long as the target has, merc or has Mercenary Fiends. Oh, wow. This effect can't be cleansed. Wow. So they make it so they can't get any new buffs as long as they have a Mercenary Fiend. It is at slow speed, though. Uh, decent attack for sure. Interesting. Okay, and then we have the last one here. It's a uh, Dio Shan. Dio Shan. Uh, fast, 797 percent. Uh, a 797 attack recovers 35 percent health for all allies. Wow, that's pretty great. So this is the first fast speed purple healer that we have. Um, I don't think that there's any others that are in purple that are running at fast speed. You guys can correct me and let me know. Um, summons a lackey minion for the caster and nearby allies with 15% HP and 19% attack inherited from the caster. Each time a lackey minion hits the enemy, it steals a random dispellable buff from the enemy and gives it to its owner. Okay, interesting. Um, so I think that they did well on this because they didn't make it too overpowered a fast speed healer. I'm surprised that they don't have more of these, to be honest with you. Um, I think we have like Toxicandra, uh, Lady Woolerton. I'm trying to think of, I mean, we have a uh, Garnet. Uh, is there any fast healers in blue? I don't think blue or purple had fast healers. Um, but okay. So it also gives a minion too. And can just take their uh, buffs. This is pretty cool. I like this character. It's pretty cool. So, um, my, uh, if I had to say what I feel about the characters, um, I think that they might be a little underwhelming. I don't, like, none of them really jumped out at me and screamed that this character is absolutely insane. Now, with that being said, um, testing and the characters actually coming out, uh, there's a high chance that that changes. So there's a lot of times that the characters seem a little bit underwhelming, but then you get uh, in synchronized with, with different strategies and, and different characters mold and become pretty great. Um, so what we're obviously seeing, we're seeing a lot of minion producing. So if you're wondering like, what do, what do I need to, to start focusing on? I definitely focus on characters that are going to either steal, prevent minions, or um or destroy all minions so we have a lot of characters that are out that do that um so focus on that a bit uh but overall pretty pretty interesting uh i don't think any of them popped out at me as much as like season five heroes that are in beta um so we'll see how they get rolled out um, so I appreciate you watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, especially if you made it all the way through this. And if you want an in-depth look, make sure you subscribe and you join us on the live streams because even right now, I'm gonna get off this content and we're gonna talk live about this. So thanks so much for checking it out. Okay, so what do you guys think? Uh, I'm gonna leave my top secret up. So I think 